Hello and welcome to Art at Home with Miss Beth and today we are going to talk about a little art history. So today we're going to talk about a guy named Wayne Tebow and Wayne liked to make um, desserts basically. He would uh, use oil paints and he would, uh, the reason he started doing that, he he lived in California, he would walk down one of the main streets and there would be bakeries um, with with the showcases with all the cakes and the pies and the cupcakes and the cookies and he thought that was absolutely beautiful and wonderful and it was just so easy to to get during this this is some pop art that he decided to make it um, make it his thing so Wayne liked drawing cakes we're going to I'm going to teach you how to draw um, a cake in perspective so this would be like you were looking looking right at it. So we first are gonna start out with, um, okay, if you were looking at a cake, let's pretend that, what is the shape typically? Not, the, not a square or a rectangle, but usually the circular ones. If you were looking straight down at it, you would have a circle. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it and we're gonna tip it so it's at an, at an angle. So we need to draw um, an oval. So I'm going to, and I've got a really big piece of paper. So I'm gonna make a really big cake. I'm gonna draw an oval, and it's not perfect. And I'm pretty sketchy when I when I work, but if I don't like it, I'll go back and erase. Okay, so I have an oval at the top. Okay, we are going to draw two straight lines all the way down. So we're gonna take the side, and we don't wanna go in here, because this is the top of your cake. This is the side of your cake, so you're gonna draw parallel line, so a parallel line here, and then we're going to go over to this side, we're going to do the same thing. And we're not inside, we're on the right on the edge of that, of that cake. Bam. Now I'm trying to match them up as best I can. And I guess you could take a ruler if you needed to. Um, then we're going to match this curvy line down here. And it's not straight across, you've got a nice curve. Okay, so curve, curve, you've got a cake. However, with this cake, I want to see the inside of the cake. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a dot at the top center, like about right there. Okay, we are going to make a V. It's gonna come this way and this way. So you're gonna start here, like somebody cut a portion of the cake out. Okay, and then, we are going to draw again two long parallel vertical lines there and there. If you need a ruler, you can go for it. Okay, and then I'm going to draw another dot about here. I'm going to draw my V again, and then I'm going to match it up. Now, I'm not seeing that I have my eraser laying here right now, but you would erase this little bit, this little bit, and this little bit. So let's pretend that um, we have a layer cake. So with your layer, should our, my line look like this? Does this seem right? In perspective, it is not right. It needs to be, needs to be a diagonal and a diagonal. So you can see that V again. I've just repeated the V three times. And I guess if it's filling some frosting there, we're going to fill it like that. Aha. And then I'm going to put it on a plate so it's not setting on its own, floating in, floating in space. So we're just going to do another oval again. Like so. Ta-da. Ah, I have a cake. Your cake can have candles, your cake can have sprinkles on it. You need to think, what would your cake, and Wayne would always have lots of beautiful, ugh, I mean, they, they were so realistic looking. Today I have some pastels. Oh, and they look really new. You can make your cake any color you want. You could use crayon, you could use a marker, however you want to decorate your cake. I am going to make this, hmm, I think I'm gonna do a chocolate cake. So with chocolate, I'm going to, with the pastels, 
Well, with pastels, they are super, super messy. So I'm going to have a big mess here on my desk. And the thing, too, that I like to talk about is a light source. So depending on where the light is coming on your cake, you're going to have um, some shadowing, some shading. You'll have, um, and one way of a shade of a color, we are adding black to it. If we have a tint of a color, we are adding white to it. So I'm trying to think, where do I want my light? But first, I want to get my coloring first. You know, I could have any color icing too that I want. It doesn't have to be all the same. I'm going to think that we'll do it like this. It's going to be a little darker. I think my light's going to come from, from this angle. So then I'm going to take a little bit of some black in here too. Not a lot because I don't want it. It doesn't need to be too dark. And you can blend your colors. So what I'm doing right now I can use my finger if I want. It, it, it does blend very easily. I don't want it to all look totally smooth. I kind of like to see some of that edge, a little bit of that graininess of, see I'm telling you it's messy, um, of my pastel. So I've got that coming this way. This, what kind of icing do we want? Shall we do, hmm. I don't want strawberry with it. What if we did a really weird old green? Let's just try some green, because it's fun. So I've got the icing there, some icing here. I've got different types of green, so I can overlap my colors. And if it's a little darker here, we've got a different, different green. There we go. Okay, so then on top, my light is coming here. This this side is going to be darker. Yeah, so with um, pop art, because that's basically what he, what Wayne was working in the time period. Uh, pop art is actually popular, and the one I normally talk about is. Um, Andy Warhol, because to me, he and oh, Roy Lichtenstein, they were, Roy Lichtenstein did the um, the cartoons that he would take, like, I mean, because that was something that was popular during the, during the 50s when pop art came around. Pop popular art, things that were popular. Andy Warhol did a lot with the soup cans. So for him, it was, when he was little, when he was, he was sick a lot, and his mom would always bring him soup. And he was amazed that the soup was so easy to get. It was very popular. Anybody could have it. It was at the grocery store, um, which I guess for a lot of you, you would think, well, yeah, that's where you buy soup. But a lot of people, it wasn't something that normally they, they had, you know, prior to that, like in the 30s and, and 40s. Um, but during the 50s, it, it was... It was um, popular and anyone could have it. You could be um, a movie star and you could eat the same thing as a movie star and that's why I think a lot of that, um, why it was important to him. He was really big about movie stars and wanting to be like one probably. Okay, so this is the top of my cake. My light source is gonna be coming from here. Yeah, I don't know what the green, it's just a green color. Let's just say that. Maybe it doesn't look that appetizing, but <laughs> you can make your cake any color you want. I'm going to go in with some white as well. And I had some kids that were telling me that their birthday is coming up. Or maybe they had a birthday. This is something you can make. You can make your own birthday cake and you can make it look 3D. I'm going to make it a little lighter still. Yeah, this is extra messy but also really pretty. 
Um, so with Wayne though, for uh, um, Tebow, for him, it it was something that anybody could get because they were in the um, display cases along the street and anybody could go in and buy. And I think for him, he he just he saw it every day, so he he knew that that was something that was popular, and it still is today. Um, there's places when things are open that you can go to buy different kind of baked goods, and they always have them out on like a display. I'm making this a little, trying to make it look like it's a little thicker. I don't know if it's working or not, but and then I still want my light over here. Then I'm gonna put some beautiful pink sprinkles on my cake. And I'm just gonna randomly put them on there. I still have my, just put them on the top of the cake. I still have, this is even a darker green. Let me see what this will do. This looks like it is in perspective and you know we used we used lines everything is is a shape lines and we connected them up and um, the oval if you wanted to make it into a, a pie a pie would be the same way it would just be a little flatter Let me do a little bit more of this. and I'm just overlapping my colors and then we're gonna put it on a tray. What color do we want the tray to be? Let's make it more neutral. I'm going to just use a gray, like it's silvery. And you can see while, when I'm doing this, you don't have to blend everything. You, I think it's important to overlap a lot, because when you put color on top of other colors, it does give it a whole different look. And with tints and shades, it's a good way to, to show light sources, which I think with this one I probably still will, because your light's over here. And then when I'm adding that with these, it, it does kind of blend on its own. Oop, my fingers got green on it, which is okay, because I'm just bringing that other green from up above down here and it actually works together. Well, let's get some darker. I'm going to put a little bit of some black in here because this is where your shadowiness would be. There we go. That way it adds a little bit more depth to the platter as well. And if I leave, I could leave some of that lines if I wanted to. And I can blend it in. Your art, it's your choice. Okay, let me just pick it up and flop it. I have a lot of cleaning to do. Haha. -ha. Okay. Um, candles. Anybody want a candle on their cake? Let's do some beautiful bright yellow candles. And I'm going to just randomly put some candles here. Somebody who's four, five, six. We'll even make it a six-year-old cake. And then I'm going to put some light. So they haven't blown out their candles yet, even though we've already cut into it. And if I overlap some of those colors, I'm going to put a little bit of brighter yellow in with the orange. So it looks like a more of a flame, maybe. Okay. Ta da! And then I have the okay. cake. So, Wayne Tebow, um, pop art. You, you, I used pastels with mine. We talked about tints and shades um, and birthdays. 
I hope you all have happy birthdays. This is a wonderful thing to do. Make one for yourself. Make one for somebody else who's going to be having a birthday. But thank you so much for joining me today. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye, everyone.